Cities around the world use electric trolley systems to make their buses cleaner, quieter, and cheaper to maintain. But while dozens of U.S. cities once embraced trolley buses, today Dayton, Ohio is one of only four cities in the U.S. with this climate-friendly electric transit feature. So while I was visiting family in Dayton over the holidays, I took a trip into downtown to see a cool transit rarity in an unassuming small city in Ohio. So Kay and I are exploring Dayton to see the electric trolley system. Welcome to Heartland Urbanist, let's go. I'm Matt Caffrey, a dad and an organizer based in Columbus, Ohio. Subscribe for more videos about unique transit in cities across the Midwest. Chapter one, how Dayton ended up with trolley buses. Dayton's a city of 140,000 at the center of a metro of 800,000. Its economy is tied to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and the defense contractors connected to it, as well as healthcare and higher education. A century ago, Dayton was something like today's Silicon Valley, a center of innovation and invention that famously brought us the airplane, but also the cash register, the pop top, and the automatic starter for cars. While much of the industry that sprung up around that invention has since left, the economy today has rebounded and the population of the region has stabilized, though, as elsewhere, it sprawled outward. Built near the confluence of multiple rivers, it thrived in an era of canals and later railroads, though today it has no passenger rail transportation. What it does have are highways, an airport, and of course, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, the region's largest employer. As with every city we've covered on this channel, Dayton had an extensive streetcar and interurban system. The Wright brothers actually took the interurban out to the field where they perfected powered flight. Of course, all of that is gone today. But in 1933, Dayton became the first city in Ohio to convert a streetcar line to an electric trolley bus. Today, four bus lines run as electric trolleys, line one, four, seven, and eight. Those lines mostly connect the east and west sides of the city between the system's transit centers, which double as turnarounds for the trolley buses. I visited one of them downtown. It was cool to see how the trolley lines actually ran through the transit center. The transit center was pretty busy, people waiting for their buses and asking, you know, the on-site staff when the buses will be arriving. Dayton's trolley bus system has survived when many others across the country have closed, and it's been a struggle to keep it open. It's pretty extensive, and it's integrated into the transit centers, and it's, it's pretty interesting, but I will say, at least so far, less than half of the buses we've seen pass in this area of downtown, which is all set up for the trolley uh, electric system, um, less than half of them have actually been using it. More of them are just, you know, traditional diesel buses. So why does Dayton stick with it? Chapter two, why trolley buses? Electric trolley buses have similar advantages to other forms of electric transportation and transit. Electric trolley buses are quieter than diesel buses. They don't have any tailpipe emissions, so they certainly pollute a lot less, and they have fewer moving pieces, so they have lower maintenance costs. Many cities across the country and the world are looking to transition their transit systems towards electricity as part of broader climate goals and net zero pledges. So you would think that trolley buses would be a valuable tool towards that goal. Battery electric buses are expensive and require infrastructure investments in the form of charging stations. But of course, they can also be used on the existing streets without any adjustments. That may be why cities aren't flocking to trolleys. But what about bus routes that already require infrastructure investment, like bus rapid transit lines that have dedicated lanes and stations? Is there a role for some more fixed route electric trolley systems that might help with the electric transition for those systems and make perhaps like BRTs um, that already have fixed routes, make those operations a little simpler, maybe more affordable by not having to buy as many batteries, for example. Maybe it's more of an infrastructure investment up front, but perhaps long term it's lower cost. Could adding electric trolley lines make sense in those cases? I think it could make sense. They'd allow cheaper vehicles that might also last longer and have lower maintenance. It would also make those systems easier to convert from BRT to full-fledged trams when ridership increases. Today's trolley buses in Dayton are dual mode so that they can run away from the trolley lines using batteries, which offers important flexibility, making the system more robust. Chapter three, so are they good? 
The pollution, noise, and lower cost for vehicle purchase and maintenance seem clear. Versus battery electric vehicles, they use less electricity, weigh less, thus producing less wear and tear on the roads, and are cheaper to purchase per vehicle. On the other hand, trolley buses require upfront infrastructure investment and ongoing maintenance. It's not just the lines, but also the substations. Today, Dayton doesn't have enough substations to expand the number of trolley bus lines that they're offering, requiring expensive infrastructure investments if they want to expand. Traditionally, trolley buses have also been less flexible, although the new vehicles like the ones in Dayton, which allow for trips up to 10 miles off wire, do make this less of a concern. Last, trolley buses can be susceptible to power outages which of course battery electric buses would also eventually be susceptible. When it comes to transit value for riders, there's not a huge difference. Trolley buses are a lot like any other bus, only quieter, cleaner, and maybe a bit roomier. Take action. So Dayton trolley buses are more than just an interesting oddity. They may be a path for a more rapid transition to electric transit, which benefits public health, reduces carbon emissions, and has other benefits. And with lower maintenance costs than other buses and cheaper vehicles than battery electric buses, they may also save valuable transit dollars for other transit needs, such as increased frequency or expanded service. Really thought-provoking for what it means for other cities as they are trying to transition from you know lower order bus systems to higher order things like BRTs and streetcars and light rail. So encourage your city to quickly transition to electric transit, including considering electric trolley buses along new BRT routes. Have you ridden a trolley bus? Tell me about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and contribute to the channel via YouTube membership or LibrePay link in the description. Heartland Urbanist is also available ad-free on urbanist.video, a great open source community. Go check it out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.